Good morning. I'm looking worse for wear, but what can I say? It's like 7 a.m. I used to be an early riser. I don't know what, what's happened to me. I just, like seven o'clock it seems early to me. I've never been more happy in my life that it's Friday. On my ride home from work one day, this cop car with literal bars on the back of its window and the windows in the back seat are like rolled down so you can see the bars and like the guy sitting in there, he's bald, it looks young, probably about my age. There was another guy in the seat next to him and then there was like two cops in the front seat. I'm like, this guy is riding to jail with his window rolled down. That cracked me up. And then we were in stop and go traffic. We end up right next to each other. My driver's seat is literally right next to the guy with the jail bars and his window rolled out. So I roll my window down and I go, you going to jail? He looks at me like so confused, first of all. And then he just goes, no. I pull away because my lane starts to go. And then the next time they pull up to me, the cops in the front window have also rolled down their window and are smiling and waving. I pull ahead again. And then the next time they catch up to me, all of their windows are rolled down, including the guy with the bars on his windows. And his, their hands are like outside the window, like doing a little wave. I'm like, what is this? We're like having way too much fun on their way to jail. But anyways, I was just like, what is happening? But this is the best, best thing in my life. I really wish he said yes, he was going to jail. That, that kind of makes my story worse. So, Sorry I haven't posted in like two weeks. My boss got invited to the masters this year, which was last week. I was at a networking event this week and met the guys that brought him. So I, I'm just laying the groundwork for me next year or maybe in years to come, you know? Gotta put in the work. I, I gotta lay that foundation, you know? The masters isn't gonna come to me. There she is. Normally that's the best Starbucks in town. Today they were really struggling, but I'm not gonna blame them. Still tastes good. Um, another update from my life is that I'm finally, I'm finally not on the run from the IRS because I paid my taxes from 2021. Actually, you know what ended up happening was that they owed me money. So actually, they probably weren't even looking for me. I should have been out there looking for them. <laughs> Taking that extra $300 that they had that was mine and just doing who knows what. Probably taking private jets, taking out senators for dinners. My relationship actually going fantastic. I think you have to have like a healthy amount of blind hope, love. Blind love a little bit. When I was making him the birthday cake at his birthday, I don't think I responded to one of his messages for like five hours because I was so in the zone making him a birthday cake. And I almost think that you should just assume that that's what's happening every single time that they don't respond to your message right away or whatever. Give them the benefit of the doubt until they start proving you wrong. And if they do start proving you wrong and they're not trustworthy, that kind of sucks. That's when you get out. Sometimes you just gotta give them the benefit of the doubt. Works if you find the right one, if you can be secure with the person who you should be secure with. Because I think where problems come arise is when you're insecure, constantly looking for affirmation, or you're constantly looking for reasons why they don't like you, or that's what you're seeing. And then it just creates stress on them, stress on you, and it's just, that's a slippery slope. It's just stuff I think about. My nails right now, like this one, barely hanging on by a thread. This is basically skin. Literally the worst my nails have been in like months. I don't know if you guys go through this, but every time that I start to get my nails done, if I stop, they just look absolutely terrible. It's because they shave them down. I don't think that's very good for your nails. And I wish they wouldn't do it because I don't think you need to do it. But anyways, I had the best nails in my life and now they're so bad. I also think that I've decided 
I'm officially gonna move to Nashville for summertime. I think I'm gonna get a six month lease downtown. Nothing too committed. Rents have really come down these past couple of months and it's looking more affordable to me. So, oh my gosh, that man is tall. That guy's at least seven, I think that man's seven foot, wow. Okay, that seven foot tall man just got in that tiny little red car. He must be sitting in the fetal position. Wow. Okay. Bye.